the search continues. But this year, we've changed the rules. We're looking for everyday Namibians doing inspirational things. Windhoek Lager Ambassadors. Homegrown, world class. Hi, my name is Sandy Rudd and I'm a nominee in the arts category of the Windhoek Lager Ambassador Search. This is my story. I was born in Harare in Zimbabwe. In my late 20s, early 30s, I came to Namibia. I think my first play I ever saw, I just had this kind of real calling and it's the magic of the other world, which I think as a child, which I couldn't really articulate, I just had a, a, a very natural impulse and a response to it. I started my theatre career as a rather silly dancer because I'm not a good dancer, but I wanted to be on stage. I never had any formal education because I didn't believe in myself and so I dropped out of school. I got my degree at 40. It was the most extraordinary experience. I always had this kind of holding back feeling about myself and the degree helped me from my own personal confidence and of course the theatre. I've never really looked back after that. I think passion is a gift and I think if you can find what the art is inside, that must get translated to your passion. I think the most scary part of my theatre career was when I became a director. Creating something from nothing is very scary and then when you are, then you are vulnerable when you open it to the, the public. I think what I learned from it was that my nerves were atrocious. I got the most horrific stomach cramps. This is my 55th year of being involved in the theatre and I still get that real pains. Working in, in development theatre in Namibia is always difficult because of, of the constraints, the, the, the financial constraints, the lack of training, the lack of English being a language that people can work with. So there's, there are a lot of difficulties. So use them. If you can't speak English, then speak in your mother tongue. If you can't do this, then make a way of working it. If you're working with youngsters who've never ever um, had any theatre experience, then you bring in the elements that enhance the production. Theatre is just elements. This is your sound, this is your costumes, this is publicity, this is the acting. It's one part of it. And it is the fusing of those elements that makes it whole. 2010, I got the Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, I think that was one of my most exciting days of my life after giving birth to my children. I'll tell you why it was good. Because artists are insecure creatures. No matter what your success, you do work in the community, you do feel isolated, and then suddenly your work is recognized. And I was very grateful for that. Okay, first Mama Mia was that, uh, it was an extraordinary success, and um, it broke all box office. Oh, the cast were extraordinary. Most beautiful cast. NTN were fabulous. So there was just this extraordinary coming together of, you just get that magic. That is the magic. And that as a director, you can't ask for more. I guess it's the young, beautiful Namibians who are my role models. When people will start looking at the history of Namibia, Lisa Ellis just came in from Marianto and just changed the way we looked and did things. You've got to be serious about your art, serious about what you're doing. Don't be afraid to follow your dream and just know in Namibia it's tough. Well, I have a philosophy that our life is made up into three parts. And the first part is the learning, then there is the doing, and then there is a teaching. And I do think that is the full circle of life. When you get to my age, if you can mentor and be kind and share what you've got, it really does justify your whole life up to where you are now. A nation without art is a nation without a heart. Help us recognize extraordinary Namibians, people made of the right stuff. Vote for your favorite ambassadors and you could be rewarded with tickets to the gala event in June. Vote on Facebook or find nominee codes on Moby in the press and SMS them to 75050.